Big Jim. Big Jim. Every morning at breakfast, you'd see him arrive. He stood six foot tall, weighed 145, kind of broad at the ears, narrow at the hips, and everybody knew you didn't give no lip to Big Jim. Big Jim. Big Jim. Big Bad Jim. Big Jim. Somebody said he came from Mississippi, raised by a colonel and some southern ladies. He wanted to fight Nazis, but that wasn't his fate. He ended up going to Mississippi State, Big Jim. Then he went to build ships up Virginia Way, working in the shipyards night and day. He met a Portsmouth girl there by chance, and when she finally stopped talking, he asked her to dance, Big Jim. Big Jim. Big Jim, Big Bad Jim, Big Jim. Well, he married that girl in April 51, and those newlyweds had lots of fun. The romance was quite a win world. They ended up with five boys and three girls, Big Jim. And he got a job in Houston town, working for NASA on the ground. He labored long and hard, and guess what, Jack? He put a man on the moon, then he brought him back, Big Jim. Big Jim. Big Jim. Big Bad Jim. Big Jim. After 34 years, he quit working for the man, and that's when his life really began. But he still had one thing to make. That's when he built a house on the lake, Big Jim. Lake Nacogdoches, he ended up here, sitting on his porch, drinking a nightly beer. Fun in the yard, fishing with the kids. They'd sleep through the news, then they'd go to bed, Big Jim. Big Jim. Big Jim, Big Bad Jim, Big Jim. 2013, this is where it ends. Jim's surrounded by his family and friends. He's on a new journey now. We got some grief to face. But he's with Jesus and Charlie in a better place. Big Jim. Big Jim. Big Jim, Big Bad Jim, Big Jim, Big Bad Jim, Big Jim, Big Bad Jim, Big Bad Jim.